Hi, welcome. Today I have a somatic Pilates class for you. So if you're ready for some flowy moves <laughs> and some core work, then we'll meet standing today on the mat here. Right, let's find a comfortable standing position. Warm up your hands. And begin deepening your breath a little bit. Just tuning into you and your body and the here and now, making sure you're standing nice and grounded. Place your hands on your chest, quite high on your chest here. You'll send the breath into your rib cage. Exhale through your mouth. Two more times. See how your rib cage is expanding in all directions at once. Last one, a little bit deeper for each breath. Each breath. <laughs> then let your hands slide a little bit further down in that soft midsection here and do the same thing. Push your breath down. It's harder to get an expansion here. So really try to visualize how your waist can expand on each inhale. Last one. And finally, place your hands on your belly or your lower abdomen and send the breath in here. Make sure that you're not just pushing your belly out, but it's actually a three-dimensional um, expansion. Also, working also on the back side of your body. Last one. And let go. So just shake it off. Shake down into the floor as if you were just coming out of the shower and you're trying to shake the water off of your body. Ah. <laughs> All right, keeping a bit wider stance in your feet. You'll drop in the middle, then push your weight over to one side, reach up through that knee, reach your arms out, find balance, and then drop down in center, push your weight over, and then reach up, extend. So exhale to drop, find the floor. Inhale, reach, extend. Exhale down, push the floor. Inhale, reach, extend. One more. Come up here. You'll do three beautiful circles with that free leg <laughs> going out. Make sure not to drop your leg. Reverse the circle. Other side. Inwards. Let that breath keep moving. And then you drop in the middle again, push the weight, come up, make some circles. So see how as your leg is just moving, you have to like rearrange, readjust your posture. So allow your body to do all that tiny, tiny work from the inside. Other way. And two and three find the floor again and just shake it off shake that water down into the floor let the flesh just hang connect to your bones ah, and come to hip width distance with your legs extend your arms above the head you'll reach through one side of your body then reach through the other side again switch one side and then the other, and then release to center, arms come down in front of your body, keep your chin tucked, and then you'll extend as you reach your arms out, come up off of your heels, find that balance. Ah, <laughs> my balance is awful. And then reach your heels down to the floor as you reach your arms up above your head. 
we can come to the bottom of the mat actually as we do this and let's do it two more times so you drop down arms come in front of you tuck your chin in and then you'll just grow in every direction and then release the heels the heels just float off the ground find that balance and then the reach the, the heels reach for the floor and your hands reach for the sky so you're growing in two directions drop down again as if you were underwater grow up heels just float off the floor find balance and then reach up and down at the same time beautiful you'll roll all the way down to the floor bend your knees if you want to and then roll back you can take your arms with you if you want and then roll down to the floor two more times inhale roll up <clears throat> excuse me so if you want to you'll bend your knees or you can keep your legs straight that's up to you reach up roll down one last time and this time you'll walk your hands out to a high plank beautiful let's find our posture here and then you'll push your pelvis up and back to a triangle position again find the posture here as well make sure you're pushing the floor away through your hands your feet then slowly release your heels to the floor and we'll exhale to curve the spine inhale find a neutral or you can arch your spine three more times exhale curve inhale extend exhale curve inhale extend last one exhale curve inhale extend let's lean all the way down onto our heels to child's pose but we're not staying here roll up through your spine come to a plank and then push up and back to a triangle from triangle release your heels come to all fours and then lean all the way back let's do three more times roll through your spine come to a plank and then lift up and back triangle release the heels all fours and then sit bones to the heels child's pose two more roll up plank push back triangle knees to the floor tabletop sit bones to heels child's pose last one roll up to plank triangle knees to the floor and stay here release one arm place your hand behind your head you look under your elbow as you twist and open and come back to the middle again open up twist and down inhale to twist last time and release your hand release the opposite leg and make three big circles with your knee so make sure you're standing in the middle of your body you're not leaning on to that standing leg trying to push your weight to the center other side other way <laughs> reverse the circle so it's really hard to stand in the middle you really have to engage your core extend that leg behind you you'll cross it behind you and then look to your foot and then open up to the other side and look to the foot again so you get to kind of twist or uh, curve to the side a little bit so swing it and look to the side so see how your spine is curving from side to side not arching and curving 
but curving like a candy cone from one side to the other. All right, let's come to center. Stand still with your body now, point your foot, and you'll tap, tap and cross, and lift up in the middle and tap on the outside. Four more, tap and cross, and open, and three, and open, and two, and open, and last one. And come to center, both knees to the floor, tuck your toes under, exhale, draw your navel to the spine, and lift your heels off the floor, stand, stay here, just keep breathing. One more breath. Release your heels, release your toes. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So twist and open. Exhale, come back to the floor. Twist and open, look under the elbow and to the floor. Last one, twist and open. And exhale, come down, release your hand, lift your knee and make three circles. Nice and slow. Draw the navel to the spine. Push the floor away. Tuck your chin. Reverse the circle now. One more. And then extend the leg behind you. Cross it to one side. Look to the toes and then swing it to the outside and look and you can be a little bit playful and kind of swing your tail looking at your tail think that you're maybe a cat or like a baby tiger <laughs> or something playing with its tail come to center point your toes you'll tap and cross lift up and center tap and open tap and cross Tap and open. And you have four, three, and two, and one. And come to center again. Bring your knees in. Come to your child's pose. <sighs> two breaths here. <sighs> and roll up to seated. We'll swing the legs in front of us like so and curve your spine on the exhale you'll now spend some time to curl all the way down to the floor so really make a beautiful curve here by pushing the navel down towards your spine and towards your mat so you're meeting the mat vertebra by vertebra bring your knees with you let's do one more up and down so push your legs away from your body, lift your chest, push that navel into the floor and you're, you'll just tilt up, exhale to come up, extend at the top, exhale navel to spine curve, seek the floor with your navel. All right, beautiful, let's stay here. You'll tap your toes to the floor. Exhale, come up to center. Tap to the floor, exhale up. Tap to the floor, exhale up and tap. Keep going in your own tempo. And tap and up. Let's do four more. Four. Three, two, one. Extend your arms above uh, or in front of you. Come up with your chest. You'll extend one leg and then bring everything in as you come down, arms above the head. So lift your chest, extend one leg. And then just float back down. And you have four more. Nice and slow. Try to be completely synchronized so moving everything together I 
think we only have three left. And two. And last one. All right, let's stay up here. And now extend the opposite leg and arm away from the body. Exhale, bring it in. Five more. Neutral spine here if you can, or you'll push your lower back into the floor. Two more. Last one. Two more. Last one, let's stay down here and then you'll find the floor with the sole of that foot. Bring your arms down along your side, flex your foot and bring it. Two more. And now let's just stay extended with that leg, place your hands beneath you. Find the floor with the sole of that opposite foot. Flex your foot on your straight leg. You'll exhale, draw your heel towards your sit bone. <sighs> Inhale, open your knee to the side. Exhale, bring your knee back up to center. So inhale, extend. Exhale, heel to sit bone. <sighs> Make sure you're not tipping over now as you open your knee. So you're keeping your hips straight and exhale, shh, knee to center. We'll do it four more times in our own tempo. Make sure you have <laughs> space on your mat. So inhale, extend. Exhale, heel to sit bone. Shh. Your breath is drawing that heel in. Inhale, knee out. Exhale, shh. Can you feel that? How the suction in your lower abdomen is what draws the leg in. Inhale, out. Exhale. Three more. Inhale, extend. Or two more, excuse me. So you are in a neutral spine. You're not moving your back. But your navel is drawing to the spine as you exhale. So you get a suction behind your navel. Beautiful. Bring your heels even closer to your hips. And on the exhale now, you'll push your lower back into the floor. Lift your tailbone off the floor. And then just roll vertebra by vertebra to a little bridge here. And then on your next exhale, begin at the top of your spine. And you'll roll vertebra by vertebra all the way down. Take your time in your lower back. Release at the bottom. Let's do three more in your own tempo. Engage on the exhale, push your lower back into the floor, lift your pelvis, roll up. Begin on the exhale, melting down. So you don't need to push your hips up here. This is just an exercise to really soften in between your vertebras and also engage those muscles so you get more mobility in your spine. It's not really about working out the back or um, the booty. <laughs> it's more about those small, stiff areas, especially in your lower back. Last one. We'll now repeat this little sequence on the other side. So we'll lift our knees off the floor. Lift our arms. And then extend the opposite arm and leg and bring it back on the exhale. See if you can stay in a neutral pelvis here. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale in. Three. <sighs> Two. Three. 
two, one, stay out here, place your hands down, find the floor, flex your foot, exhale, knee up, <laughs> heel to sit bone, inhale, knee out, make sure you're standing in the middle of your body, exhale, knee in, inhale, extend, exhale, scoop, inhale, knee out, don't twist over, Exhale in. Four more in your own tempo. Now, if it's a challenge for you to stay here, uh, you'll just move, maybe not dropping your knees so far out. And you can use your hands for support. If this is no problem for you to keep your body still, then you can lift your arms like so, or you can even extend them above your head or keep them to your body. Are many ways to challenge your stability but you want to keep it really close to your body to begin with so you get that control with your breath your breath is shh, controlling the movement shh. last one now and then place your heels closer to your pelvis this time we'll thrust the hips up and then come down to the floor barely touching the floor thrust up and down so you're in one piece now you're not rolling through three more two last one let's stay up here and then just pulse for 12 11 10 9 8 seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, and come all the way down to the floor. Let's roll over onto the side, find a comfortable position, and then find a clam position with your legs. You'll open your knee up and then bring it back down. So make sure you're not tipping back as you open and your knees are stacked on top of each other. Three and two and one. And now pulse out for 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and release come to 90 degrees position you'll make three circles opening up two three make sure again you're not tipping back other side or <laughs> reverse excuse me so if you need the support you'll use your hand to support or you can challenge yourself like so, like so, like so. That's up to you. And you'll now stack your knees on top of each other. Come down to the floor with that top arm. So you can even stay here or here. And you'll place the top arm, excuse me, the bottom arm is down. And the top arm is wrapped around your head. All right. Let's just spend some time to adjust. You will lift your top leg like so, but glue your knees together. Can you feel a tension on the outside of your hip now? If you can, then good. Then hike your hip up, and then you'll lift your head up as well, but sideways, so you're really crunching sideways. You see that? And very slowly, release. Super slow on the way down. And we'll only do it two more times, but try to be very concentrated and aware of what's going on. So lift your foot, hike your hip, lift your head sideways, find that contraction in your side. And then slowly release, feel the muscles letting go bit by bit. One last time, lift your foot, hike your hip, lift your head crunch all you can really really contract and slowly 
breeze just soften imagine like a block of butter that's just melting slowly expanding beautiful place both your hands on the back of your head and you'll just twist and open and relax three deep breaths here So you see where we were hiking the hip creating that contraction that's where it's kind of elongating and relaxing now so you want to send your breath into that area and just roll on to the side again push yourself up a little stretch in between here ha swing your legs we'll repeat on the other side so come to a clamp to begin with. Find the position that feels good to you. Stack your knees, toes together and open up and close. So you might notice that one hip is more open than the other. That's fine. <laughs> We're still working on the same things, not tipping back, keeping our body still, keeping our breath moving keeping that chin slightly tucked. Let's do one more and then we'll pulse out for 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Can you feel it? 4, 3, 2, 1. Stack your knees again, 90 degrees position. And release the top leg. We'll make three beautiful circles going back so again you can challenge yourself by releasing that arm or you can use it as a support let's reverse the circle nice and big juicy circle two more last one stack your legs Come down with your head, wrap your top arm around your head, lift your foot up, hike your hip, lift your head and really crunch to the side and then slowly be that butter that melts in the pan or that oil that just expands. Two more in your own tempo. So the idea is that you are contracting the muscle and then paying attention to when you release and you let go of that tension. So now you know that if you feel tension anywhere in your body throughout the day, that you seem to just not be able to let it go, you can try this, this concept, this principle on that area in your body and see if that helps you when you have released last time place both your hands behind your head and open up twist and relax enjoy the sun <laughs> if you have it or just enjoy the calmness and the space in your body Come on to the side again and we'll just flip over to our belly with a few exercises here as well before I let you go for today. So place your feet at the corners of the mat and then you will place your right cheek onto your left, the left back of your hand. Rest it on there. Lift your chest with your elbow and everything. <laughs> Lift it up look back and then slowly release two more times just like this so you lift your elbow and your head and you look back 
and then slowly release. One more time, lift your elbow, look back, and slowly release. All right, let's do it again. Lift up, look back, and you'll lift the opposite leg, and you'll see if you can see it in your range of vision. And then everything together, slowly come down to the floor. Three more times. Let's do everything together simultaneously, lifting the leg and the elbow and looking back, kind of twisting, trying to see that foot and slowly down. Last one, lift up everything together, twist and reach back, see if you can see your foot and come back down to center. Beautiful, just switch your arms. Look over your right shoulder now. Just your arm first, lift your chest and your elbow, look back and come down. So it's fine if you cannot actually see your feet. It's just kind of your, um, not your goal, but it's, uh, it's what you're looking for. <laughs> it's your direction, let's say. But you don't need to, if you, can, if you feel really strained, then don't force yourself. But that's the direction you're looking in. All right, this time you're going to lift up and then lift the opposite leg and see if you can look back, and catch a glance and come down to the floor. Lift everything up together, leg, elbow, head, look back and come down to the floor. One last time, lift up and look back and come back to the floor. Beautiful, extend your arms to the corner of the mat as well. You'll lift the opposite arm and leg and down to the floor. Opposite arm and leg and down, opposite arm and leg and down and opposite arm and leg and down. You have six more. Keep your limbs nice and straight. Five. Four, three, two, last one, up and down, gather your legs behind you, come up with your upper body and you'll swim back and make like a stroke now with your arms as if you were uh, diving and then swing, swim back and dive forward and swim back. Dive forward and swim back. Three more. Dive and swim. Two and swim. And last one. Dive and swim back and release back to the floor. Good job. Just shake your hips. Ah, release everything and when you are ready you'll push your weight up and back all the way to a child's pose resting your forehead onto the floor and stay here for five deep breaths and this will be the last thing we do for this class So if you want to stay for a longer time, then that is absolutely fine. So maybe you want to check out one of my cool down or stretching classes to continue on softening and relaxing into your body. Let's do three more breaths together. Three. And two. 